Buenas tardes, ¿cómo están? Bien, bien. Gracias por estar aquí, es importantísimo que nos reunemos uh, haciendo esos tipos de foros. Importantísimo que estemos involucrados en esta campaña, en esta elección, en cualquier campaña. I want to thank you Abasta, the East LA Chamber of Commerce, uh, for putting this together. I'm here because the next mayor of Los Angeles needs to understand that the 12 plus percent unemployment rate is more than just a number. It represents hundreds, if not thousands, if not millions of families who are worrying and wondering if they're going to be able to pay the rent next month. I have felt that. I'm an Angelino who grew up on the east side. I'm someone who's been taught to stand for what I believe in. And I'm someone who also sees the potential of this great city. Look, my sister and I grew up with not much. But what we did have was a strong woman, an immigrant mother from Mexico who came across the border and who knew that giving up was not an option. If it meant that we had to sell clothes and candies and go downtown and bring stuff to the east side to sell it in the neighborhood, so be it, we had to do it. If it meant staying up late trying to learn English to try to get a better job, she did it. That's the attitude that the next mayor of Los Angeles needs. It's someone who will do whatever it takes. Someone who will do whatever it takes to make LA better. My candidacy is not about politics or my career. My candidacy is about public service. At the end of the day, we need to engage, inspire people, and make sure that everyone is involved in making LA better together. I had a basketball coach at Wilson High School who taught me a couple things. One thing that has always stayed with me he says, don't sit on the fence. Pick a side and stand for what you believe in. We have a choice of selection. We have a choice of selection not to just go with the herd. We have a choice to stand up, to stand for what we believe in and pick someone who's going to fight for us, who understands the inner city streets, who understands the struggles that right now people are hurting. And someone that can couple that with understanding the economy at the highest level and put together a vision for the future. I ask you to stand with me to get off the fence, join me in re-energizing LA together.